Hello everyone, welcome to the summary from last week's stream, which we do every week, as you know, but this week it was just me and Mike playing. Pete had a thing to do, and Lawrence and Tristan were AFK, so I'll show you what I did, which was a little bit of automation, which is this. Um, this actually did take me the majority of the stream, I regret to tell you. Um, a lot of which was just deciding what to do, whether things should be here or there, finding or going back and forth to the... The, the, the storage area because I kept forgetting things, but we managed to put it all together eventually. Now, here you will recognize some of the things that we made a few weeks ago as part of uh, the quest lines, which are probably also demanding that I hand them in. Only a couple, that's okay. Um, I was working on this row here. So we got the range collector, the block miner, controlled miner, and an auto placer. And I've learned a few things about these. One of which is that even if they have nothing to do, they will use power. Which is why it's currently switched off. Requires redstone. So I put a flint hatchet in here, and I have whitelisted rubber wood. This is a rubber sapling. What happens is that things grow if you leave them in the ground, saplings specifically. So eventually this will become a tree. Now this tree, which I can probably show you, let me go and get some um, bone meal to show you with. I don't think I have any handy. Um, now I say that, <laughs> is there any, even any, going to be any handy? Because it's a, oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> That's going to go a long way. Um, let's get a couple of bones, and if this doesn't help, then we'll have some in a minute. In fact, uh, I'll pause the video and see you in a second. So if you spam enough bone meal on this thing, it was seven, all of what I made, you get a rubber tree. Rubber tree is a one by one tree, and this is knowable, so it doesn't really matter. Sometimes if you have the right uh, sapling type and you put the trees together, you get a two by two tree which we've seen uh, here and there, spruce trees I think do that. Uh, but this is a one by one tree, so if you have a look at this machine and we have a look at the preview, I've told it to mine this much stuff. Which just about covers the complete trunk of a rubber tree. So all I've done here is automated the rubber tree, but I've had to do it using these particular devices rather than any, let me out, let me go, let me, let, let, rather than any other devices. Uh, you'll see in my inventory I have the old block miner. This will only break the block in front of it. And it will do it indiscriminately, and it will not accept a tool with which to do it. Uh, in theory, this doesn't need a tool. I, I think it will break it in. Shall we experiment? Let's take this tool out. And then, uh, always on. So, you see, it will take its sweet time. Right? Oh, uh, that spoils. Don't look at that. So, it's probably breaking something up there. That one, yep. So it doesn't really, um, I'm not sure how it picks which one to mine, but mining it will be doing. Uh, and there you go, it's done. And it's only allowed to mine rubber wood, so rubber wood has fallen to the ground. This is not picking anything up because... of reasons. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. That was me doing it wrong. So I'm glad we were here debugging live, but look at this. It, it's still... It, I promise it is still using power. Um, and very quickly. And the reason that I wanted to, you know, not have it on all the time is that the amount of power that it's using is quite silly indeed. Uh, uh, as you can see, but it's coming from the main power network and we don't have very good power generation at the moment. So this has to be turned on um, on purpose and of course, it's not going to do anything until this grows. Now I have put this down, this is an automated user. And, uh, we should have some more um, bone meal over here now, because I made a bit extra. And you can put the bone meal in the automated user, if you so desire. And it will start spamming the bone meal onto the thingy, if you turn it on. But like, super quick. I, it, it spammed two of them in that amount of time since I turned it on. Uh, and again, this is going to continue. Why don't I go down here? I'll, I'll turn off the... Yeah, let's dig that up. I'll turn off the main input to the power, which is basically this. And you'll see that this one also is probably using power. No, it's not. Well, that's good to know, unless I've done it wrong. That's definitely not hooked up. Yeah. And this one doesn't need power. This is the auto placer. So what happened before? Mind this one, when we were sort of 
watching what it was going to do. And this immediately put another uh, sapling down, which is the point. Um, if this is active, which... Well, there you go, look, it does use a little bit. It must have been draining because the, the ducts themselves have some power in them. They store some energy. So this was probably sucking it out of there. But look, it's not as bad as the other one, but again, when it's on, it's using power. So um, all of these are off right now, the, the ones that use power anyway. Uh, so this is basically what happens. If you want to, you can fill this up with um, bone meal, but it can only take three at a time. So we need a way of feeding it, which is kind of what this is for to some extent. I haven't made it work that way yet. I haven't, this uh, drawer doesn't hold any bone meal or anything. It's not drawing anything out of it. Uh, maybe in the future, but it's a bit difficult to keep it stocked and these things grow anyway. We're not actually that uh, hard up on rubber. Um, you'll notice this has a thing on it. You can draw the rubber out of it manually with a tree tap if you want to, but this works um, because when this breaks the block, and by the way, we saw that it was just slow, right? So if you put that on now, it's going to use the axe instead. Simples. It's just a little bit quicker. That, as soon as it can, we'll place that block back down. This is mining. Here we go, thank you. And then every time it goes poof, like that, it's because this thing has picked it up. Now, I think it scans for stuff to do. So each time it tries a block, and then when it finds one, it mines it. But look, this has dropped, which is great, because I was actually needing to put this in the whitelist. So there you go, you can get in there. Ooh, you also need to go in here. So everything that's in there gets pulled out of there basically immediately. There's a filter on here, so that only rubber saplings go into here. So this is going to cycle itself. Uh, eventually rubber saplings will also need to go into here when it fills up completely. But really there's only four... Um, oh, do you see how that's already empty. Really there's only four byproducts of this. The rubber saplings, the rubber wood, that sap, and... Oh, and eventually, of course, the rubber itself. So, but then we might want bone meal in here, so we might want some more, to, it gets a little bit complicated, which is one of the reasons I didn't put the bone meal in there, because we want room for everything else. Um, and we're going to overflow on saplings, so eventually saplings are going to fill this up, so we want them to go somewhere, but early stages. So, uh, one thing I haven't done, uh, one of the other things I haven't done, apart from to hook that up, is to wire these all together with one switch. So you turn it on, Tree grows eventually. Um, well, what you would do is you would see the trees grow and you'd come, you'd turn it on, and then you turn it off again when the tree's gone. Or you just will leave it a while and drain power as much as you like. But what happens then when this has come out here if it's not a sapling, because only saplings are out in here and they will go in there because that's the closest destination, everything else goes down here. Straight into the drawers, there is the wood, and there is now the sap. And under here, I have made it such that this is immediately above the thingy, right? And this is one of those magical machines that has a uh, auto input. So the inventory above it, which is here, will auto pull in. Why are you pulling in rubber? I'll ask you. Can you filter this? Filter input. And then maybe if we do this. Because this basically, this is the extractor. You put the rubber wood in here, you get these little bits of rubber out again. Ooh. No, you don't. What is this? No, that was right. Yeah, this is the rubber. It just took a minute to disappear. I'm so confused. Maybe I'm too slow today. So can I just put this in here? I don't know how I filter the input. But auto output is not on. Well, I guess it's not on because it's on this, right? Auto output is on this. So it auto outputs above, auto inputs from above. All the wood that gets picked up by this goes into here, gets dragged into here, gets turned into rubber, goes back into here. Let's see what filter input does if I do this. Sap. Sorry, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I might have to move this forward a bit and use uh, an item ducked with a filter on it to stop this from happening. So that's not brilliant. Um, you know, teething problems. Oh, are you going to extract for me? We're learning together. Come on. 
more rubber. You get more rubber from the snack, which is actually that's great. So, uh, filter input seems to have just decided that that is not something you can input. Why would you not just do that anyway? Never mind. So, we could put bone meal in here and have it drawn out into there, or we could put the excess saplings in there, but eventually this needs to hook up back to the original uh, storage system over there so that, you know, we can do, we can add it to this. I don't know why there's um, armor in here, by the way, someone someone has done a mistake. Um, but this is the automation of rubber. You have rubber sapling grows into rubber wood. You can put the bone meal in here to make it grow quicker. Let's turn that on and show. Well, that wasn't enough. Uh, when that grows you turn this on this is always on this is always on boom we get load of rubber which is great because rubber isn't going to be needed for a lot more things including i believe plastic that's what i spent three hours doing <laughs> mike has spent some time um doing a lot of requests in the kitchen we are now on our way to having the fourth part um unlocked from eating enough foods I say on, we're not well on our way. Mike's made these three cakes here with dirt underneath them because, uh, you know, we didn't get a five in the health and safety, in the, in the kitchen health and safety uh, rating. We've got 172 foods tasted and three hearts gained. And before I started, I had maybe 150. So Mike's made at least 12, well, approximately 12. And then plus the ones I haven't eaten yet. So I've eaten all of these, one of each. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, not yet eaten. Tough egg. Let's have one. Shush, I'm presenting. And there's more in here, but in theory, excuse me, we can eat toast, rice cakes, caramel, raw dough. We can basically eat any of this. It's not necessarily going to be good for you, but solidified cocoa butter is what Mike was working on. So he's doing a lot of this. And honestly, it was a chill stream. That's what we did. Uh, Mike did a lot of cooking, which I'm actually kind of envious of. I didn't have the momentum in me <laughs> they have the spoons not literally the metaphorical spoons to do something like this but it sounds really zen if you can get into it but i don't think i could have um so i got into that instead this week not really sure maybe some more automation it was fun this this is unnecessarily complex what is this observer dispenser maybe someone will show me what this is use lava sigil to put lava in this hole this thing's staring at the hole that will output a redstone signal, which is for some reason shared between a comparator and another comparator. Then this is what, a dispenser? We'll pick up the... This is a fluid transposer. Okay, so it picks up, when it sees lava, is my guess, it will make use of the bucket, which will then, if filled with lava, go into the fluid transposer and be put into <laughs> and then you can whack the you can right click the tank and then you get the lava out of it so you can fill it with i mean eventually it's going to have to come round so you have to wait for it but you can fill this with lava every so often using the lava sigil which is uh lawrence's stuff go have a look at how lawrence is doing it there will be a thing at, oh in fact there's one here can i do it it's possible i'm not allowed to ow it hurts i knew it would hurt <laughs> I never, I did it anyway. This then empties it. Ooh, ooh, that's quick. It's not augmented. That's just very quick. And then it comes back in here so you can do it again. Um, it hurts, but every now and then, if you have the HP, this actually works in our favor because now I can eat this egg. It's to feed. It's not even an egg, it's an egg. As you wish. Brilliant, that's good to know. Well done, whoever did that. Oh, and the reason I used a flint ax in the thing there is because Flint is cheap, but that is that I couldn't find a way of extracting the tool from the automated user. You know, I, I put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I tried a lot, a lot of things, but nothing that I did would actually pull this out of the thing at all. Um, so, well, that's interesting. We've run out of. How have we? So I um oh no that says sixty four k and this says zero k. What? There we go. I uh it was enough to block up. It was a 
sync issue. It was, it was wrong, basically. Um, instead of worrying about the, the quality of this tool and the, 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 the fixedness, what am I talking about? The damage, the damage about the, the brokenness of this tool, durability remaining. I just figured to make a tool that we can repair easily. So when this breaks, if this isn't working, it's because you've broken your tool and it will continue to work. Uh, it will just work slowly because it's trying to do, um, it's trying to punch rather than act. So there you go. Someone's made this in between streams and I made that on the stream. Mike did all the food on the stream. There's probably another couple of things here and there. This is a low tech version. Um, one thing that I did have a look at on the stream was the uh, red project red versions of some of this. I'm not sure that's necessary. Well, I suppose that adds one. What? Why are there two? I suppose it's, maybe this is a latch. Maybe it makes it take a while before it tries again. I don't know. Um, I was having a look at the Project Red stuff. So up in here, I've actually started to make some um, red alloy ingots, which are kind of difficult to make. And they do, I think this small pile of person actually comes from those, which is really annoying uh, because you have to deal with side effects as usual. But um, by, but it's one of the, I think it might be the next thing we can automate is what I'm saying. Um, unfortunately, it does require sending a lot of things back again. Uh, and there's like, we've only got 64 after that many. We only had a few left, but those are really useful. Uh, so yeah, I played a little bit with Project Red on stream. Oh, I'll show you the uh, the mob farm that Mike made. Mike, Mike and the mechanics. Um, I had a little go with playing with Project Red over here because one of the cool things you can do with Project Red is to um, excuse me. <clears throat> you can use, they ha it has a type of red aloe wire, it has a type of redstone wire that can run along the ceilings and stuff. So you can put a single switch down here, for example, and then if you put enough lights up there, you can basically turn the whole thing off, which is great if it's causing lag, it's great if it's um, producing enemies you don't want to have to deal with. But uh, down here, there is this external, eternal XP farm sword. What does this say? Ideal enchants, mending, unbreaking three, life each two, sweeping edge, sight. You can hear a click. Uh, this is dispensing demonic will. So when you kill these things, the will is dropping apparently, rather than, um, I think it's because what happens is when you kill something with, for example, a sentient sword, the will drops. And then when you pick it up, it goes into Tartaric gem if you have one on your person. Uh, but if you don't, or for example, you don't pick it up, this picks it up, then that single piece of will goes in there. So let's just try it. If I kill a thing and get poisoned, then eventually we'll find that some will pops out of here. If anything actually dies from this uh, other than me. <laughs> so when this hopper picks up Will, it goes into and then and then it spits out and then you can pick it up into a tarot, tarot gem. That's because you can't quite reach it from here, basically. Uh, yep, I had a little play with lighting that up so that you could... Ah! Ooh! I managed to start flying halfway up there, that was weird. Uh, I had a go at lighting that up. I only had one light cube anyway, so it wasn't really going to work, but I think we could probably make better use of those cables, those red alloy, white alloy, red alloy wires somewhere else. So that's all I have to show you because we didn't do very much because it was only the two of us, but that's just the way it is. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget if Florence has made one, it's going to be one of these. And otherwise I'll see you on Monday for the actual stream. Bye.